Hello guys, welcome again to another UHRS video. Now I just wanted to make a review on a video that uh, I had already uploaded and the, the heat up we are going to work on is, is the ad related to the user online activity. So I'm making a review of this video because the previous video, the audio was not clear enough. So I hope this one is clear enough for you. So in case you haven't qualified for this heat up, it's time for you to qualify because I can see the hits are moving fast. So Please let's log in to our UHRS accounts and uh, let's qualify for this heat up. Okay, as usual guys, always go through the, the guideline. Now the guideline uh, this time round are, are, have been provided on the dashboard. Okay. So just go through them. This is the guideline. Okay. This one. And also this okay so on this heat up um, you've been provided with an ad and uh, you've also been provided with the online session of the person who this ad is uh, has been shown to so what you need to do is just to compare if the ad had, if the person had already searched for this for this item okay on one of the sessions that you've been provided here so just try to search for this ad on the sessions. So what I usually do is just to click on Control F and then this, this search bar will appear up here. Can you see this one? Yeah, let me remove it again. So if you click on Control F, it will appear up here. So anything that you'll search on this search bar uh, uh, will show on this page. So for like this one, mm, Let's search for Cascade Pro Tandem Dispenser. So guys, by the way, I wanted to, I'll always, I'll always advise you to watch this video until the end because most of the questions that I'll do here, you'll also find them on your hand, okay? So in case I wronged any question here, you you know, you are not supposed to get it wrong, okay? Because you, you see the mistake that I made. And also if I got any question right, you'll also get it right. So watch this video until the end, and in case there is any question, in case there is any correction you want me to make, just comment in the comments below. So try try to find the intent of the ad. So for like this one, we've been provided with Cascades Pro Tandem Dispenser. So the intent of the ad is to to advertise a dispenser. Okay. So this is what we need to search on the search bar up here. So let's type for dispense. Dispenser, and I can see the word dispenser had only been mentioned once, which is this. So, and one of the session there is no dispenser. So, if you find that the the person has, has never searched for that word for that item, try to see the session, go through the sessions again, try to find for. Um, an alternative of the ad okay so if you get any alternative of the ad just come and click on ad is not relevant to any single session but may be of interest to the user if you don't find anything relevant you just come and click on ad is not oh, ad is of no interest to the user then you submit so let's go through the sessions stock Okay. So for like this one, I'll just come and click on add is of no interest to the user, then I submit. And yes, we are correct. We go to the next one. Again, do the same thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Do the same thing, go through the ad, try to find the intent of the ad. So for like this one is gift idea for your loved one. So the intent of the ad is to, to get gifts. So type for gift, you can see the word gift has been mentioned only once. Then again, what you need to do in case you don't find anything, try to search for the, for the website that the ad has been 
has been gotten from. So let's see. And also the website I can all see it's only mentioned once. So let's go through the uh, the sessions. Mm -hmm. Okay, for this one again, I'll come and click on add is of no relevant, no interest to the user, then I submit because I don't see in, even any alternative of the ad on the any of the sessions. Any of the sessions here. So let's submit this one. And yes, we are correct. We go to the next one. Now again, this one, do the same thing. Go through the ad, try to find the intent of the ad. For, so for like this one. So for like this one, the intent of the ad is to, to advertise a vacuum. So just come to the search bar again. Type the word vacuum and try to see how many times it has been mentioned. So in this page, it has only been mentioned one, which is this. So try to go to the sessions again. Look for any alternative of a vacuum. So for like this one again, I don't see any alternative of the vacuum. So I'll come and click on wait. Uh, come and click on again. Add is of no interest to the user. Then I submit. And yes, we are correct. We'll go to the next one. So this one is hearing aid again. Do the same thing. Try to find the intent of the ad. The intent of this one is to sell hearing aid, invisible one. So the common type, let's type uh, aid. Only mentioned one. Let's type invisible. Mentioned ones. Mm, hearing. Mentioned three times, which is this, this, and this one. So Let's go through the sessions. Try to look for an alternative of the ad. Mm -hmm. Now, do you see this one, this part? None of the above sessions are re relevant, but the ad may be relevant to user demography. So for like, uh, for like this invisible hearing aid, we all know that invisible hearing aid uh, can really help people above the age of 65 because they are old. Okay. So if you see the person has never searched for any hearing, uh, any any item that uh, is, is being mentioned on the ad on any of the sessions, but you see that uh, the ad can be relevant to the person because of their age group. You just click on. None of the above sessions are relevant, but the ad may be of relevant to the user demograph. So for like this, hearing aid can really help the people above age of 65. So I'll click on none of the above sessions are relevant, but the ad may be relevant to user demography. Then I submit. And yes, we are correct. Go to the next one. This one is a source. So type for it socks how many times it has been mentioned in the page only once we'll go to the next one let's search for the website bombas it has been mentioned twice this one and this one so again we go through the sessions and try to look for another alternative uh, Again, for like this one, guys, I'll also come and click on none of the above sessions are relevant, but the ad may be relevant to user demography because we all know that socks can really help old people because of the cold. Okay, 
So I'll click on that one and I submit. And yes, we are correct. We go to the next one. So the intent of this ad is to sell mask. Search for mask there. And it has been mentioned once. Now go through the session. Now guys, this one, I'll come and click on session one because I can see the, uh, on the web, the person, there's a, a time is searched for Johnson County Health Department, okay? So I'll come and click on add is not relevant to any session of any single mm -hmm. session, but may be of interest to the user because he searched for uh, health related item. And this one, this mask is also related to health. So I'll just come and click on that one. I'll click on add is not relevant to any single session, but maybe of interest to the user. And I submit. And yes, we are correct. We go to the next one. Now for this one, we've been provided with the mattress pad add. So what you need to do is to search for mattress, click enter, and it has been mentioned four times. So twice here, then let's find another two. And in session three, but this was uh, on Wednesday, he searched for mattress, smart and adjustable mattresses. So, but we've been provided with the mattress pad. So let's search for pad. Mm -hmm. Pad, click enter. It has been mentioned three times. One, two. And the third one is an iPad. So, I'll read this one again. I'll come and click on. Add is not relevant to any single session, but may be of interest to the user. Okay? Because we've been provided with a mattress pad add but the user there's a time he, he or she looked for mattress smart and adjustable mattresses so mattress pad and mattresses can can be related okay so you just come and click on that then we submit yes we are correct we go to the next one so this one the, the main intent of the the ad is to get a real estate license so come to the search bar again, we type license, click enter, only mentioned once, now real estate, click enter, it has been mentioned twice, so here and here in session two. So, but uh, this one is real estate investing, okay? But we are looking for real estate license. So for like this one again, click on add is not relevant to any single session, but maybe of interest. And we submit. And yes, we are correct. And we go to the next one. So for this, I don't see any one thing. So this is free shipping and returns. Mm. So this one looks like a cloth shopping, online shopping platform. So just come and look on the session if the person had already tried to buy something online. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we can see that uh, vintage men logo cotton brown crew neck sweater uh -huh. so for these guys come and type click on add is of not relevance but single session but maybe of interest this ad may be of interest to the user under session two 
then I click submit. And yes, guys, we've passed, you see, up here. You've passed the qualification test. So guys, that's how we uh, qualify for this heat up. And uh, I hope this audio was clear enough. So in case you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe for more video like this one. And I can see the heats are, are being added every day. Mm -hmm. So there's no excuses, guys. Let's register for an account or for, uh, for your HRS and let's start earning the cash. You can use the links in the description to register for their, any account and also get your Pioneer account to set, set for your payment. So guys, thank you for watching and uh, see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.